Oh, I got this 1990 XJ40 Sovereign in. Uh, this came in for a heavy clunk in the front end, which turns out to be missing shocker bushes on the left side at the top. Uh, it had a roadworthy not many kilometres ago, and three and a half thousand dollars was spent on something. But how do you get a roadworthy with missing shocker bushes, oil leak? Uh, the parker lights don't come on all the time because the switch is faulty. Yeah, just little things like that. A bit of cardboard holding the battery in. I think that was after the roadworthy, according to the date on the battery. So, I'll just do some minor things to it and get it drivable again. Well, this is the drive side front up of Chocker Bush. A little loose. <laughs> Look at that. Not good. So they're all compressed and yeah, there's too much space. So it hammers each time. But I think the other one's missing it, so it's this metal washer would be hammering into the body each time that shocker moves. Nice. It's got new uh, front rotors and pads. No new hoses. Hmm. And all the bushes haven't been replaced. I wonder where this three and a half thousand dollars was spent. Well, here's the new bushes, and there's the old bushes. Um, yeah, you can see that that's kind of not as thick as it used to be. That one, that was bad, but it's still smaller. So, hmm. Oh, I've got the bushes out of the left-hand side. Um, here's the new ones. This one's, you know, aged okay. This one's worn a little bit. There's the rest of it. <laughs> so yeah, these sit in the cups. So that would explain a clunk. That's what it looked like. Completely flat. <laughs> that did a lot, didn't it? So, cool. Yeah, well, there's the driver's side done. Much better now. And it was missing a cup washer. So, put a new one of those in, it seems much healthier. Now oh, I've got the thermostat out, it all seems, you know, undrilled and everything, so I'd say the springs just failed. Uh, the fascinating thing is, I've never seen this before, that's the bypass valve, so when the thermostat opens, this shuts off the bypass. So, but, let's see here, oh, it just falls off, actually fairly easily, like it just fell off and I took it out, so who knows, it's been shut bypass could have been blocked off. So but yes, I'd say the spring's just heat affected. It's opening at 60 degrees. Well I've decided to do at least one coolant hose, which is the bypass hose at the back of the thermostat housing. As you can see by this shot it's not very healthy. It's been leaking a bit. And the other end's not too bad. I've got to check out that hose too, see if that's a drip mark on it, or if that blue spot's a hole. So, we'll see what happens. I like to do all the hoses, but eh, you can do what you can do. Now well, I decided to take the whole thermostat housing off, because where the bypass hose goes is kind of fucked. As you can see, it's not looking too happy. I'll do a close-up of that. Well, as we can see, this thing's a bit haggard. It's getting a bit thin in places. Like there, that's a good example. So, yeah. Time for a new one. Might wire wheel it just for the fun of it to see what's left. Oh, there's the hose. Nicely swollen right there. The clamp was on crooked, which probably didn't help. Yeah. Nasty.